Put simply, the automatic budget reduction mandated by sequestration would be disruptive and destructive to our nation's security and economy. It would negatively affect the mission readiness and capabilities of the men and women on our front lines. It would undermine the significant progress we've made over the past 10 years to build the nation's preparedness and resiliency. Um, perhaps most critically, it would have serious consequences to the flow of trade and travel at our nation's ports of entry. Look, I don't think we can maintain the same level of security at all places around the country with sequester as without sequester. We're going to do and are doing everything we can within the limits sequester gives us. Uh, but uh, as I was mentioning earlier, if you have 5,000 fewer Border Patrol hours or agents, you have 5,000 fewer Border Patrol agents. That has a real impact. Yeah, I'm not here to scare people. I'm, I'm here to inform uh, and also uh, to let people begin to plan because they're going to see these impacts in their daily lives and they're going to have to adjust and make their arrangements accordingly. And it won't be like a shutdown where, it, where it's like turning off the light switch, uh, but uh, all I can say for, to, for folks is these, these are the effects that will accrue. Uh, please don't yell at the, the customs officer or the TSO officer because the lines are long. Uh, the lines over the next few weeks are going to start to lengthen in some dramatic ways in parts of the country.